Hello, everybody. Welcome to this screencast introduction to Berlin Symphonic Harps. Orchestral Tools went back to the Teldex scoring stage to create another addition to the Berlin Series Orchestra. The harp was missing in the series for a long time, but now the wait is over. To offer even more possibilities, they not only deep sampled one, but two individual instruments and players. This collection has three main technical features. First, we have a true pedal simulation. Orchestral Tools introduced this feature with Symphonic Sphere back in 2011. The concert harp is basically a diatonic instrument. In its natural position, all strings are tuned to the C major scale. With the seven pedals, the player can tune every note of that scale one half step up or down. In Berlin Symphonic Harps, every string of the harp was recorded in its natural, sharp, and flat pitch. That basically tripled the recording time because both harps had to play all dynamic layers, round robins, and standard articulations on all three pitches. A special UI within Capsule provides control over that feature for the user. This way, you can easily tune the harp just like a player can. You can then play the scale you set with the white keys on the keyboard. You can store your pedal settings in 10 different slots and switch between them via key switches or clicking on them within the Capsule interface. Thank you. Pedals also allow you to tune two strings of the harp to the same pitch. That way, things like pentatonic scales are possible. Because those pitches are actually recorded and not simulated, you really get the sound of the two different strings when you play those scales. By the way, don't worry if you don't want to use the pedal simulation, because this collection also provides chromatically mapped patches. The second feature of Berlin's Symphonic Harps is directly connected to the pedal simulation. 
we have a real playable glissandi patch for each harp. The samples of those patches were recorded with the technique a player uses to play glissando, which is different from that of a single plucked note. That's the reason why glissandi played with standard harp patches often sound not quite as smooth and connected as one might expect. But now, with the combination of the pedal simulation with the playable glissandi articulation, we can recreate those beautiful harp glissando sounds. In addition to the playable glissandi patches, orchestral tools also recorded a bunch of performed glissandi in different scales and styles. The third feature of this collection is the release damping of the sustained patches. Any plucked string on the harp usually just rings out after the initial plucking, but the player obviously can also damp the note. That triggers a more or less audible sound, which depends on volume, note length, and damping technique. For both harps, different note lengths and damping sounds are recorded and triggered within the sustained patches depending on the timing of the key releases. If you play very short notes, you get the immediate damping of the string. If, however, you use the sustain pedal, the string rings out as long as you hold it. We also have a couple of short note patches, which are especially good for playing short chords and accents. In addition to those main features of Berlin symphonic harps, you also get the most important advanced harp techniques, flagellet, PDLT, and bisbilianda.
Although those performed Bisbiliando samples do quite a good job with the round robins and the pedal simulation of the sustained and short note patches, you can also perform your own harp tremolo. Simply tune two strings to the same pitch, for example, E to E sharp and F to F natural, and play E and F on your keyboard like a trill, and you get the effect. Another example could be G sharp and A flat. The two harps are recorded on the left and right side of the Teldex scoring stage. This way, you get a nice stereo field impression when using both instruments. If you want to move them to one side, you can simply invert the panorama within your DAW. Beside our standard set of main microphones, tree, AB, and surround, you get three different close mic sounds for each harp. The Teldex scoring stage and orchestral tools recording setup allows for a wide scope of sounds, from very close and intimate to a very ambient room impression. Let's have a listen to all of the microphone positions first on harp 1 and then on harp 2. With that massive and unique set of features, Berlin Symphonic Harps aims to become your new virtual harp workhorse. I hope you enjoyed this overview screencast. Thank you so much for watching.